Mar- Margaret, that's what John and I say all the time. You know, we tell each other these stories, and we believe them because we've experienced some form of them. But you're sitting there at a bar telling telling one of your friends, your local friends, these same stories, and they look at you. That's the biggest bunch of crap I ever <laughs> The saw. biggest, the little- greatest, just the greatest ribs would be a TV show that I would like to help host. Because just so I could hear all of the stories of the greatest ribs. Yeah. Because they, man, I was with Owen Hart. Oh. Man, Owen, he was, man, he was fantastic. Hey, speaking of chicken bones, remember when y'all threw chicken bones on us one time up in uh, Nova Scotia or Halifax or somewhere up in the Maritimes, uh, me and Ron and Godfather, you and D'Lo and Mark Henry, I knew it and D'Lo and uh, Mit- uh, Taka, Michinoku. I yes. think chicken. I think it was chicken bones y'all threw out on us. Well, you yeah, threw that something be- on our car. That was because y'all were driving 80 miles an hour and hitting <laughs> us, bumping us from behind. Y'all uh, could have uh, killed us. <laughs> And Takami Shinoku was in the back seat, Gerald, and me and D-Lo was in the front. And D-Lo's driving, I'm in the passenger seat, and they pull up beside us first, and then they, you know, they're waving. And D-Lo, in all his damn wisdom, <laughs> took the damn uh, chicken bone out the box that we was, and threw it at, at their car. And John <laughs> got this look on his face, and he just dropped back, disappeared. And I went, damn, like that, he, he almost had a wreck. And the next thing you know, boom, we got <laughs> in the back. And I looked back and I said, oh my God, that fool just ran into us. <laughs> and Taco was like, he coming back. <laughs> Go. His English got so good. <laughs> and, and now we driving, we going 70 miles an hour. And John is Ooh. Like man, we could have we could have died. Like, man, that's attempted homicide. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, we were scared to death. <laughs> I'm riding with I'm riding with Godfather Ron Simmons and they threw those chicken bones out on us. And Godfather's over there goes, D-Lo. D-Lo no, threw chicken bones. Yeah, yeah. Not, don't do that to John, please. Come along. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's there's so much uh sto- so many stories in the history of wrestling that are so entertaining that like man they they the WWE could do uh a hundred shows yeah. and and you wouldn't hear the same story twice. Mar Margaret, that's what John and I say all the time. You know, we tell each other these stories and we believe them because we've experienced some form of them. But you're sitting there at a bar telling telling one of your friends, your local friends, these same stories, and they look at you. That's the biggest bunch of crap I ever That's the all. biggest. <laughs> so when I came up to Waterloo, I got I, I got to sit with you, and you told me how you know um, you know y'all y'all traveled the road, and your brother, your brother from another mother, like. Did you throw a snake on him or did he throw a snake on you? I threw a snake on him. I threw a snake on him. (laughs) Oh, but that's just a regular little black snake, though. (laughs) John, I would have died. I would have, too. I I hate snakes. I'm so scared of snakes. If he... It would have been shit everywhere. Oh, yeah. I would have come unglued. There was. There was, by the way. (laughs) I'd have come unglued. (laughs) Yeah, there was. And I, I, I mean, and not only did we do it to, to Rocky Johnson, we did it to Bob Armstrong. And Bob Bob was more afraid of snakes than we are. And Bob literally tore the bathroom down getting out of the bathroom, then threatened to kill all of us. The one with Bob, the one with Rocky was really good. We were leaving Savannah, Georgia. And I, you know, all those little gimmick stores, the firecracker store down in South Carolina, you can buy those little rubber black snakes. So one day we stopped there and I went buy a snake. So I bought me a little rubber black snake. So so we're the, we're there, we're we're going back to the airport. We're doing a double shot. So we're going back to the airport. 
And all of a sudden, I think Robert Fuller is driving. I said, Robert, pull over. I see something. Robert, of course, knows what I'm doing. So he pulls over. I have this plastic black, rubber black stake in my pocket. So I reach in and I reach out. I, I drop it down on the ground. I pick it up. And I leave the door open when I get out. About that time, Armstrong's looking out, out the, uh, Rocky's looking out the door. And I throw that black snake in, in the damn car. And I thought uh, we had to replace the interior of that car. He tore, he tore, literally tore the damn seat off their safety rails and was cussing me. I thought he was going to kill me before we got to the airport. <laughs> that rib cost me about $500 to repair to those seats. <laughs> <laughs> But it was worth every penny of it. <laughs> oh my God, that's hey, so Mark, good. Rocky Johnson hopped out of a moving plane one time with Mr. Briscoe because somebody caught the plane on fire. Yeah, yeah. Rocky yeah. Johnson jumped out of the plane as it was about to take off because Mr. Briscoe or somebody was smizzing in somebody. the bathroom yeah. <laughs> and caught yeah. the plane on fire. Yeah, we were really we were one of those old load charge, you know, one of those uh, Sky Sky King airplanes, you know, a tail dragger. So we're on that airplane. We're headed to Miami. Everybody loaded on the plane, you know. So I, I don't know. I can't I'm not gonna throw anybody on the bus. But somebody went to the bathroom and, and smoked in there before we took off. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder what there's somebody. Somebody. I don't know who that's somebody. somebody. <laughs> but somebody went in there and smoked just to kind of calm down, you know, from, from the day. So, But the smoke hadn't cleared out of the bathroom. But as we're taxiing on a, on a runway, that door pops open. When the door pops open, smoke starts bellowing out out of that down little little stall. You know, little stall they have in the bathroom there. Rocky sitting in that last seat there. Rocky literally jumps up, turns a turns a crank on the damn door. The door drops down. It's dragging. It's it, it, it. and Rocky jumped out of a moving airplane, taxi an airplane, and, and we couldn't get him back in there. I don't know why. But I don't couldn't. know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god yeah but just, you know, just little... the greatest just the greatest ribs would be a tv show that i would like to help host because just so i could hear all of the stories of the greatest ribs yeah because they man i was with owen hart oh <laughs> Man, Owen, he was, man, he was fantastic. He was the greatest. He was one of the greatest. I've been around several generations, and, and Owen was one of the best ever. Say, I just so said, I, I went to Atlanta to the National Primate Center, and they had a famous silverback gorilla there named Willie B. Willie B. Uh, yeah, I, love, I stopped by Atlanta one time just to see him. And, and uh, there was another young silverback that was there. Uh, that they couldn't even put them in the same vicinity. They'll tear the whole world up. And um, so I went there, and and like I like I am, if if I'm going to do something, I want to know everything I need to know about it. So I went to observe them and study them and take notes. So I went to Atlanta, and I saw these silverbacks, and uh, I realized that, you know what, man, um, as beautiful as they were to me, I just didn't want to be compared to that. And, but I got to see them in their natural habitat doing stuff that, man, it, I'm, I might have been the only person on earth as a human that could have got close to doing some of the shit that I saw. I saw a uh, uh, that other gorilla next to Willie B was 580 pounds. And I watched him sitting on a ledge eating bamboo shoots and throwing the sticks on the ground like somebody, you know, you ever seen somebody eating uh, sunflower seeds? Yeah. And, and they just like spitting them through it and they throwing, he was doing that. <laughs> and, and, and then at some point he got tired of everybody looking at him. He reached up with one hand and curled himself up on a ledge and went into this little cave. Now, a lot of people have been like, oh, shit, well, he just got tired and left. That ain't what I saw. Was I, What I saw was a 560-pound motherfucker <laughs> reach up with one hand and do a pull-up. Come on, man. Yeah. I don't know if y'all in the church with me. <laughs> no, I got that you. Is a, that I is got you. Amen. 
<laughs> I got you. If that thing would have hit or grabbed a human, it'll detach it like a chicken bone. <laughs> like that's the kind of power that they had. And I wasn't gonna, I mean, it, 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 I wouldn't, I just wasn't gonna like trivialize the human existence by way of uh, comparing it to an animal. 